All right, decided to upgrade the RAM in this thing. It's a uh, Acer D260 netbook. Found a few videos online, but it's a pain in the butt trying to figure out how to get these this keyboard off. If you look real carefully right along the edge here. There's about seven clips that go all the way around. A little, you can't really see it, little half round clips. You have to push those in and then pry the keyboard forward carefully. Now, there's no wires underneath it. I've already taken it off. Take it, you push it in, you pry up, and then you end up, you can slide like a credit card behind there and just pop the rest of them off. When you get to there, this little connector goes in there. You just pop it out and take the keyboard off. You will mar up the edge a little bit. It doesn't hurt it. There's no wires here. I did pop off a couple of these little keys trying to do it, but they snap right back on if you're careful. Okay, after I did that, yep, there's a little hole right here on the right-hand side. Just take what I use as a Phillips head. You can do this with one hand. The Phillips head point, and just push until it pops. One of your little pops. What that does is it loosens up. Bottom There's no other real way to do this other than to just pop it off. There's your RAM. Same way if you want to get to your hard drive, that's how you get to it. And there's the uh, Wi Fi card, and I guess that would be for the ones with a 3G or maybe Bluetooth, I'm not quite sure. Just get the RAM out. These little tabs, silver tabs on the side, and then just pull it out. It came with one gig. I'm putting two gigs into it because it's good with one one gig of RAM, but it's not the best. And put it back together. Line it up. The feet stay on there, and I'm just kind of snap it back in. Keyboard, wherever I put it. I can't do this with one hand, but you'll put that connector, the ribbon cable, back in to its holder, and then it just snaps back into place. You put the bottom in first, and you just kind of rock it down in there. It'll snap into place, and, and that's how you get the keyboard off the back plate and upgrade it. Hope it helps.